Well, this week for Friday Night Fake Break, we are with the one and only Anisha Katona in the kitchen of one of her restaurants, Mowgli, in Liverpool City Centre. Anisha, this is very exciting, and I feel like I'm going to get a lesson now on how to make the ultimate healthy curry. Yeah, ultimate healthy, dead quick curry. Chick this is a real home style right. chicken curry, okay? And so we put the tiniest bit of oil in the pan. And you're using rapeseed oil. I use rapeseed oil. So yeah. we, oh, we have a ban on any ghee in this restaurant. Okay. We don't have any cream because Indians do not cook like that at all. So this is proper. So this is proper, authentic home style curry. So as much onion as you can be bothered to chop. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever you're cooking a meat curry, honestly. Onion, ginger, garlic. Right. You've just got to start with those building blocks. You can use frozen garlic, you can use frozen ginger or puree, whatever makes it easier. So you don't have you. to be particularly particular about this. As long as you've no. got those three, you just chuck them in and go. Yeah, you need those flavours. So this is this is onion, garlic. Um, sorry, this is garlic, ginger, puree. Okay. So what we do in the restaurant is get fresh and we blitz them up together in the morning. So again, do you know honestly what my dad used to do when I was cooking this curry? It'd be as much as yeah. you can be bothered to chop. So as you know, when he was that. back, we turned. I'd stop as soon as I can. But you yeah. know, he would want me to chop mountains of onions because you know what? We don't thicken our sauces in Indian food at all. We don't, don't thicken them with gluten. It's all gluten free, completely gluten free. Ideal. The way that we thicken sauces is by adding onions. So the more onion, the thicker the, thicker the, the sauce. sauce. Okay. The finer you tip. chop the onion, the thicker the sauce. Do you see? get it but we in India in our homes we don't really like thick sauces we like mm. a thin liquor that is full of flavor that's right. what you should be looking for so it should be thick so really that's quite interesting because I think here quite often you find the sauces are quite thick and sort of gluten chunky and yeah gloopy. and do you know why because when we came to England when the Indians came to England we saw that you have this thing called gravy right. but we did not <laughs> oh, understand no, at all it's like a thick sauce gorgeous. with lumps of meat in <laughs> You know, like the, the centre yeah. of a pie, essentially. So we tried to recreate that for you, but with spices <laughs> that's, in. That's that is, spicy that is. Gravy. I love it. I love it. That's, that's, that's a, a fantastic comparison. But that is not. And already, you oh, start to get the it. smell. Fantastic. It's incredible. So onion, ginger, garlic, dead easy. Then in okay. with the chicken. <laughs> so this is chicken breast, and I just put a little bit of sort of uh, garam masala on the chicken breast, but you don't need to. So chicken breast goes in, and as soon as that starts to brown a little bit three spices only ever three spices three spices are you ready yes turmeric the mother of all curry mother of all curry yeah turmeric. turmeric goes in to give this curry a kind of earthy mm. undertone that's such a fab color and as it well, is so it? good for you is it, it is so healthy it's a real um anti-inflammatory right. antioxidant okay and the second spice that goes in the father of all curry is a tiny and look how tiny an amount really i'm using amount. of chili powder and chili powder does not go in the heat because i don't like hot curries we don't serve okay. hot curries here it goes in for a little background of warmth just to yeah. give it a little just, bit more flavor just a bit more flavor exactly wow. you know what it does it gives you a kind of smoky undertone yeah. so with curries you're building layers of flavor this so this is why it all goes in at different stages you don't just mm. put everything in well together. yeah can i tell you Go bung on. it all in together yeah can you? yeah if you're doing a level curry don't bung them in together but at this <laughs> level you coming in from work you want to yeah. cook a chicken curry that's really healthy in 20 minutes bung it all in together just throw yeah? it all in turmeric so this is my style of cooking niche just chuck it all in a pan and hope for the best are so we I lazy really, is that what we are no, i don't think we're lazy at all i think it's just you know the, the it's modern life, isn't it? Everyone's busy, and if you want yeah. to eat something healthy, then it has to be something you can put quickly, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. As soon as you get in, and it's going to please everybody. Exactly. Last spice, so turmeric chilli, okay. and the last spice is something called garam masala. Right. Garam masala is a blend of about ooh, 20 spices. Can you see I'm going in quite heavy? So you, you get about a you know, get about half a tablespoon yeah. or a dessert spoon, throw it in. Next time, if it's too strong, pull back. Pull back. And when I say strong, it's not hot, it's just very aromatic, yeah? Now tell me about Mother and Auntie Lisa because they feature, don't they, in your menus here at Mowgli? They do feature. Yeah. So all of these dishes are my ancestral dishes. Yeah. So this is, you know, the way that my great-grandmother ate, my grandmother ate, my auntie, my mother. And we're all real food obsessives. So these are these hand-me-down heirloom recipes really really important so i'm not going back in and changing the archives you know some yeah. of the things are my creations like the treacle tamarind fries which is so wrong <gasps> but so right i've tried those are amazing you tried them really delicious <laughs> okay tomatoes in tomato. tin tomatoes very simple so whenever you see a brown curry yeah a brown curry right. it's brown because of tomatoes 
Ah, yeah. I didn't know so that. a little bit of tomato, and that's just tinned chopped tomato, and you know they're great. So what that's going to do, that's going to bring a lovely tang and a nice. sweetness. We don't want it to taste of tomatoes. We just want that little wake me up in the mouth. Nice. My mouth's watering. Okay, as soon as chicken's cooked, it's done. It's done. Right, now, the way that we season in India okay. is a little bit of salt. And whenever you cook with tomatoes, mm. same with Italian food, always think about the sugar. Right. Always add a little bit more sugar just to bring that sweetness out of, the the sweetness out of the tomatoes. And you don't have to, you know, it's to taste. But I quite like sweet. Mm -hmm savory curries so in a, in, a, in a curry like this you could put apricots you could put plums prunes you could put rhubarb honestly whatever you, so you want you could make it quite fruity you well. could That's make really it quite fruity Again, yeah, like the sweetness okay. yeah what we've got now is spinach. right spinach now the wonderful thing about spinach is there's quite a bit going in there isn't there oh, but it cooks so. down to nothing it just cooks down to nothing and then you get these beautiful green ribbons growing through the curry wow. And then we've just got to simmer that, yeah. This is where if you've got, you know, green beans, green beans. from your roast dinner yeah. or whatever, yeah. throw those in, anything like that. Now I like this, this curry. so if you've got leftovers from a roast dinner, yeah. you can just chuck them in the curry. Honestly, so that's carrot. Very often, you know, at home, my dad's best lamb curry would have carrot simmered through really? it. It's very, very normal. Yeah. Potatoes, anything. So it's that combination of those spices, that sweetness, the tang of the tomatoes. It just really, vegetables keep their own flavor but yeah. there is just something so clever about them you know they're really dressed beautifully and I suppose this is really easy to make as a vegetarian dish as well isn't it you just leave out the chicken you leave out the chicken it, exactly you leave out well you'd put chickpeas yeah. in or you put yeah. butter beans in or you would put what you know courgette or butternut squash in that is amazing but you know those beans that you get those yeah. tinned butter beans or balotti beans cannelloni beans you can literally just put fantastic well. really right. fantastic and you really do not miss the meat you really don't do Right, so we look like we're really pretty much ready to go. Yeah, here. 10 minutes oh, in. Okay, are you at ready? That. Okay. Look at that masterpiece. <gasps> Do you know, I, I, I only ever want to cook with you from now on. Oh, <laughs> Your words are amazing. Because I'm just, just so excited about it. Curry is like my favourite thing in the world. Oh, is it really? Yes, it is. So, a little bit of coriander. This one. And what I can't believe, Nish, is just how simple it is. Yeah. And we've been in here for. What, 10 minutes? Maybe? Yeah, 10 minutes. 10, 15 minutes? Yeah. And it's done. It's and there. It's, it's done. on the dish. It's ready. Yeah. yeah. Lots and it's of veg in it. Mm -hmm. Loads of veg. And, mm. and you know, for kids, it's it's that veg that's sort of hidden within yeah. there. We shouldn't really have to hide veg. But if, no. if we're no. having to get them used mm. to it, this is a great, great way for getting them used to it because the sauce is so delicious. You can add a little bit of yogurt to that, and then you're going to yeah. get a kind of tikka masala feel to it. Um, so from this one dish, you can go in various directions. And that's what I like about it, because it's kind of this giving you the basics, isn't it? But then you can kind of do what you want with it after that, yeah. or use what veg you've got, or what kind of meat you have to have. Because yeah. I'm assuming you could do that with lamb or something else Oh gosh, as well, absolutely. Or, yeah. Completely fish. You know, like fish, fish prawns. Ooh, fantastic. Fish yeah, nice yeah. So what's so great about that is that kids can cook it as well. Onion, ginger, garlic, and then those three spices. And all you need is a little cupboard in your kitchen that big, a little yeah. shelf, with, with those three things on and you're there you know you, 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 can, you, you can cook the world from that cupboard it's absolutely fantastic Nisha thank you so much for doing that for us